nerds and nerdettes and we little nerdlings all. It's your buddy, Big John and G, the Two Gun Fixit presents Legendary Gaming. Hello and happy Tuesday, everyone. Thank you for joining me here for Tabletop Takeout Tuesday, a series where I give you some quick points about why I enjoy, I like, I love, I play a certain game. Now, today's game is a superhero game, tongue-in-cheek, light-hearted, but full of deep strategy, some area control, some... Meeple management. No, there's no meeples in the game. But, uh, listen, why don't you just join me down the table and I'll tell you about Born to Serve. Now, I gotta tell you, I, I have honestly been a fan of lighthearted, tongue in chief, spoofy sort of comic book superhero stuff ever since I first discovered the Legion of Substitute Superheroes. But then I became an even bigger fan of that concept with the Great Lakes Avengers. Now, there's been a lot of spoofy types. I'm just picking out two to reference because they're two of my favorite and stand out in my mind. And this game. I think does a fabulous job capturing that feel, the feel of that spoofy superhero style. And this game, Born to Serve, it not only dishes that out, but it does it thematically very well, so well. It, I was impressed by it. The use of using this mixing of themes, right, of superheroes and a diner. Uh, just quickly to let you know, the, the idea is the superheroes lost their funding, and none of them had real jobs to begin with since the government was paying for their super base and all their exploits, and now they need to get real jobs, and there's only one position open in town, and that is a position in the local diner. So in order to get the job, you and the other players uh, are playing heroes that are competing for that position. See, already, right there, right there, it's silly, it's silly, but this mixes in a whole, and it's more than just the aesthetics, it, it's, it's, it's the way the game plays out, it mixes in diner themes, everything from, uh, from placement of, of servers to what you're doing for the, for the customers, who you have in your corner. Like maybe the maitre d' or the valet. These are all going to play an important part. And it mixes in so well. Uh, it, it almost seems like a real theme onto itself, actually. Superhero diners. It does it. It, it brings the two together so, so good, so well, that it does. It feels like its own subgenre or something. Now, although this game is honestly fun it it does kind of hide the level of strategy that you need that you need to score points in this game you know it looks a little silly and it feels a little silly because it works but then after you've had your laugh and your smile it it comes down to some serious strategy on where you're going to be placing yourself uh, as far as the server goes, the, the waiter or waitress, and, and how you're going to work it out with your abilities. And as I mentioned before, if you have anyone in your corner, so to speak, you know, uh, like like the like the cook or someone, and you're going to be able to use their abilities to help you earn a better spot or better points or something better in the game for that round. So it does, it has a lot of strategy to it. It also does a really good job at managing playtime. 
because you can play either a shorter or a longer game. Whether you're just playing the lunch crowd or you're playing a full game of dealing with the lunch crowd and then the dinner crowd. And that's actually going to be a different game slightly because it's going to change your, your tactics. Because now you're going to have to hold certain things in reserve for the dine for the dinner crew the dinner gang when they all come in when that when that crowd materializes um you're already going to be sort of wasted a little bit you know what i mean from the from the rush of the lunch crowd so that's going to play a part there's going to be even more managing of stuff that you need that you need uh, to be in control of to win the game so that's another really, really great fun point about the game that uh, I think escapes escapes some people that don't look into the game far enough. And actually, talking about the theme before uh, and how it works so well with the game itself, it also works well with the components. The, the components in the game uh, look like diner checkbooks, they look like diner tables, it's uh, on the map, that is. They don't have 3D uh, environment stuff, uh, in case that's what it sounded like. Uh, but no, everything does. Everything has a superhero or diner feel to it, and sometimes a little bit blended together. And aesthetically, it, it, it comes off smooth. It really does. You know, and consider the fact that there's not enough. There's some, but there's not enough, I think, light-hearted superhero games out there this this is a fresh breeze because it is lighthearted and it's a little deep it's a little strategic so please do me a favor go look into and check out born to serve i think you're gonna like it